In this video, I'm going to show you why this is the most insane offense in Madden 24. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. With that said, let's get into it. So today we're going to be covering a 4 play mini scheme from the most insane off meta offense in Madden 24. This is from the formations Bunch X Nasty and Bunch Y Flex in the Kansas City Chiefs offensive playbook. With these four plays, you're going to have the ability to beat every single defense in the game. And because this is so off meta, your opponents are going to have no shot at stopping you from getting big plays and easy scores. As always, this full scheme with even more one play touchdowns and glitchy setups can be found on winmadden.com. With that, Let's get into the first play. Now this is a very pass heavy scheme, so I highly recommend using a quarterback with either the ability set feet lead or pass lead elite. These abilities are gonna make this offense even more impossible to stop because it's gonna increase the throw velocity on all of our throws, giving us even more easy completions and one play touchdowns. And the first play that we're gonna take a look at is a universal beater, meaning it can beat every defense in the game and it has one of the most unstoppable routes in all of Madden 24. This is the play post wheel shallow from the formation bunch X nasty. All right, now with the play post wheel shallow, we have potentially have the best play in all of Madden 24 and it beats every single defense with the setup I'm gonna show you. So first and foremost, you're gonna notice that we have the ball on the right hash mark here. We're always gonna run this formation with our bunch to the short side. So again, balls on the right hash mark, bunch is to the right side here. So this is an absolutely insane play because of this tight end wheel route. That tight end wheel route, I'm going to show you how to use it as long as you run it to the short side to beat every zone in the game for huge yards. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply put RB on a fade route and then we're going to drag B. Now you can do whatever you want with the running back. I'm going to put him on a wheel. That's just another man coverage beater for us. Now, first and foremost, we're going to start against a cover three zone defense. Now, if your opponent is playing zone, you are going to have the opportunity to quick throw this A receiver every single time if they don't have hard flats. You're going to force them to play some type of defense with hard flats in it. Now, you can see there, that was a quick throw against a cover three. Let's go to a cover four. Again, cover four is going to have the same thing. If they do not play hard flats with this setup, again, here's our setup. We're going to snap the football and we're going to say, all right, no hard flat. We're going to quick throw this, get up the field, and you can see we're gaining somewhere between 10 and 20 yards on a simple quick throw to our tight end. This will even work against the Tampa too. They have flat zones, literally to the outside, but if they are not hard flats, it just won't play the tight end wheel. And again, we throw it, we're getting up the field, there's 12 yards. Super simple, but it's gonna force your opponent, if they wanna play zone defense, to play some type of zone defense with hard flats on it. So they're gonna be shading underneath. And this is where this route becomes absolutely insane. So again, you need to put RB on a fade route. That fade route is gonna come in really crucial in a second, I'll show you when. But again, we're gonna drag B, and again, do whatever you want with the running back. But if we see our opponent running some type of zone and they have hard flats, we're just gonna hang out of the football for a second, and then we're gonna throw it right behind the hard flat. And this gives us opportunities to get huge plays and even one play touchdowns against zone defense. And again, the zone defense itself doesn't matter. That's gonna work against cover two, cover three, and cover four. So that was a cover three, for example, here's a cover four. And this is where the fade route becomes really, really important. RB goes on a fade. And RB being on a fade actually pulls the deep quarter on the right side of the field down with him. And that allows us to throw the A receiver. So again, we snap it, we see hard flat, we just hang on to it, wait for him to clear, and then we hit him in that gap and gain huge yards. It's gonna work against every type of zone. Now, what if they run man? So let's just audible to a man defense here. And this is where our drag routes and our wheel route by our running back come in handy because they are great man coverage beaters. So even if they trick us, we're gonna be just fine. The wheel route by the tight end is not gonna beat man coverage, but both of our drag routes will, and so will our wheel route to the running back. So if we snap the football here, you're gonna see B just absolutely wide open, X was open, and the wheel route to the running back was open. This play, absolutely insane, gonna cause your opponents a um, tremendous amount of headaches and gonna get you easy yards and potentially even easy scores up and down the field. And next, we're gonna take a look at the play 83 halfback choice from the formation Bunch Y Flex. And we're gonna be using this play as a one play touchdown against cover three defense. Now to have an effective scheme in Madden, you need to be able to bomb certain defenses for easy one play touchdowns. 
one of the most popular defenses in Madden every year is a cover three zone. So we're going to have a simple play that we can go to to bomb this for a one play touchdown every single time. And again, that's where we're going to use 83 halfback choice. Now, this play is super easy to set up. All we're going to do is we're going to simply put A on a streak, and then we can either put B on a streak or we can put them on a comeback route. Either of them will work. Maybe the comeback route gives you another option that you could throw a little bit later. Now, the other thing about this is this cover three one play touchdown is going to work whether the bunch is on the right side, whether it's on the left side, whether it's on the short side, wide side, doesn't matter at all. It's super simple. And the RB receiver is our money route. So I'm just going to show you again. We're in a cover three defense. I'm going to simply snap the football and all I need to do is buy a little bit of time in the pocket and this RB receiver is going to get wide open for an easy one play score against cover three zone. Now I do want to show you as promised even if I were to flip this play this is still going to end up being a one play touchdown. So again we're going to go ahead and simply put our A receiver on a streak. Last time I put our B receiver on a comeback route this time I'm just going to put them on a streak again it doesn't matter I just want to show you that both of them work. And as long as we snap the football and we get a little bit of time in the pocket, we're going to be able to bomb for easy one play touchdowns against cover three zone. So that one of the easiest and most effective bomb plays in all of Madden 24. And now we're going to take a look at a play to absolutely torch man coverage. This is the play Speed Dig from the formation Gun Bunch X Nasty. All right, now we're going to take a look at a quick setup that's going to beat any type of man defense that our opponent might run against us. So this is super easy to do. Again, this is out of the play Speed Dig, and you can run this with the bunch to the short side or to the wide side. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the setup. It's we're going to streak X. We're going to drag route our tight end and then we're going to zig route our RB receiver. Now, if you think they're blitzing you, you can either block your running back or keep him on his check and release. But if you think it's a cover two man or a cover one and they're not blitzing you, go ahead and put them on a wheel route. Wheel routes are just insanely good at beating man coverage in this year's game, and it's just another great man beating option. Now, maybe the most popular man defense online is cover two man. So I wanna show it against this and we'll just run it, right? So I'm gonna snap the football and then I'm gonna hang on to it as long as possible and we'll kind of make the reads together. But if I snap it here, we just kind of stand tall in the pocket. We've got a bunch of people bumping into each other here. You're gonna see that we just get lots of man beating action. And this is so difficult to guard from a defensive perspective because of where on the field this play attacks. So. If we just take a look at this here, we got some crazy bumping here, um, but uh, the tight end is almost always going to win. He ran into a defensive lineman, but he's almost always going to win, and he's almost always usered as well. So typically the user is going to have to go guard him, which is great because we want to distract the user. Wheel routes, unbelievably good. So you can see the running back here just runs by his guy. He's going to beat man coverage every time. If they don't have deep safety help, you can throw the running back wheel. To the other side of the field, the zig route. Now, again, we did have bumping here, but the zig route's gonna win every time anyway, it just doesn't matter. And then the maybe the most important route on this is the speed dig. He is gonna beat any type of man coverage, it doesn't matter. And what makes him even more important is he can beat any type of man coverage, even if there's a deep safety sitting over the top. It just won't matter. You're still gonna be able to complete this and get up the field for huge yards. So the the best part of everything that we set up on this play is that all of these man beaters are like running away from each other you can see the drag is going short left right the wheel is going up and left the zig is going bottom right and then the speed dig is in the middle of the field so the user literally can't guard all corners of the field at the same time making this man play just unbelievably difficult to stop so Again, this is the play speed dig. You can use it against any type of man coverage and the running back is your real option. If you think they're blitzing, just block the running back and everything else is still gonna beat man. And finally, we're gonna take a look at one of the glitchiest run plays in the game, RPO Zone Alert Omaha from the formation Bunch Y Flex. Now, no offensive scheme is complete in Madden without an effective run game, but maybe more specifically in Madden 24, no offensive scheme is complete without an effective RPO game. So thankfully, we've got a great RPO in the formation Bunch Y Flex, and I wanna show you just some cool tips about how to run it. Now, first and foremost, the inside zone on this RPO is wonderful. If you are playing somebody in regs or franchise and they don't have any inside stuffs, 
they are going to have an absolute nightmare trying to stop just the basic inside zone piece of this. This consistently picks up 5-10 yards. Just the basic inside zone handed off to the running back is very good and you can see how effective this can be, right? So super simple. If your opponent does have inside stuff, you can actually cancel it by going ahead and just double teaming it. So, you know, that can be an easy way to just say, all right, you get an inside stuff, but I'm going to double team it and you're just going to go nowhere with it. Now, the next part is the RPO piece of it. Now, if your opponent is base aligning and they're running a lot of zone defense, then throwing the bubble is insanely effective. And I'm going to show you how to do it here a little bit. But for example, here we're running a cover three zone and they're base aligned, meaning we can see we have a numbers advantage to the right side. We've got two blockers, they've got two defenders. As long as we get this out in time where we get the blockers there, it's gonna get us an easy five, 10 yards like every single down. Now there are certain formations, if I just flip here, you're gonna see that we have a huge numbers advantage, right? Now, this just happens when people run zone and certain formations just do this, but you can see there is nobody out to the left side here. So if we just snap this and we throw this out here, we've got just a possibility of an easy like 15, 20 yards even. So this is just something that gets your opponent out of certain defenses and can be really a nightmare to stop. Might force them to run man, might force them to run hard flats, and you've already seen through the rest of the scheme, they can't run either of those defenses and have any chance of trying to stop us. So that is the RPO. It's super effective and just perfectly fits into everything that we're doing in this scheme. Now this offense is great and you're gonna score a lot of points, but in order to win more games in Madden, you need to have defense as well. So if you like this video, you should watch this video next where I show you the top five most overpowered blitzes in Madden 24.